Hi again. <laughs> so tomorrow, um, Arthur is back at the vets um, to have his back um, injected. So I think the vet is planning to re-x-ray just to make sure that um, he's basically going to inject um, the correct areas. Um, and then on top of that, um, just because I've had quite a lot um, of joints x-rayed, I thought I may as well get all of his fetlocks x-rayed and his front knees, um, just for completeness. Um, but yeah, but um, I'm quite looking forward to tomorrow just to now start to fully investigate. But honestly, guys, he's been absolutely fantastic. Um, I've done a little bit of school and work, but not a lot, um, mainly just walk and trot. Um, I haven't cantered him in the arena or anything like that. Um, I'm just trying to do what the vets asked me to do. Um, so the vet asked me to ride him as normal, obviously within his strength limits, um, and to really process how he feels. So I've really tried to do that. Um, and his hacking, he's been awesome. Um, I've actually had a couple of hacks on my own, which I'm really proud of. Um, had a couple of hairy moments, but um, that's just what's gonna happen. I've never really ridden him out on his own um, until our grey be was became semi-retired. So, um, and today was the first time I've jumped him. Um, I just popped him over our, our tyres at home just uh, a couple of times, that's all. Um, I think it's a 65 centimetre jump, so it's nothing for Arthur. Um, but bearing in mind in June, he, he wouldn't even jump over a cross pole. Um, so obviously I was very nervous about that. Um, because the first time, uh, well, in June... <laughs> Um, I went over his head, so, um, but, oh my God, I really struggled to keep hold of him. He was so keen. Um, he just pulled me into the jump. Um, I did do it in my dressage saddle um, because I've only just got uh, my saddle back from the saddler, um, from having the channel, the actual channel widened. Um, so yeah, I didn't want to change anything too much. I've been riding him in his dressage saddle. My husband... Um, popped him over the tyres the other day um, and he was fab. So yeah, I just feel like there's nothing wrong. Um, I think it's going to be um, subtle behavioural changes. Um, so I'm really trying to process how he feels um, and like how where his mind is. Um, but at the moment, he's just so full of life. Like he's dead keen to like come up and see me um, when he's in the field. He's always whinnying to see me and so whatever I'm doing with him is obviously not bothering him and he, he's, he must be enjoying it if he wants to um, be around me. So, so yeah, that's it really. So I'll update you guys. Oh yes, tomorrow he's having um, wedges um, put on all four hooves. Um, the vet and the farrier have spoken together and they've got a plan. So um, yeah, I'll um, be posting updates on that as well. Um, so yeah, catch you tomorrow. Bye. Okay, so um, we're back from the vets. Obviously, <laughs> Arthur is stuck to me like glue. Like every time I poo pick the fields, he just always wants to be with me. <laughs> He's very clung to me today. Hi, sweetheart. You're such a sweetie boy. <laughs> Not sure if he's just um, relaxed after his injections. I don't know. Um, like I say with Arthur, I think it's going to be because I think he's had um, kiss and spines from day one. Um, it's going to be um, behavioural things that I'm going to see. Uh, so it, it'll be interesting anyway. Uh, so <laughs> this is Jackson. <laughs> Hi Jackson, they are such sweet boys. Um, <laughs> oh right, I'm getting bothered by them. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. 
sorry i i just had to um the fairy actually messaged me when i was filming so um i've had to get the horses in um so yeah anyway so we've been to the vets uh and um arthur had to have his back re-x-rayed just so the vet knew um exactly where to inject um so he did inject in three sites um where the bones weren't actually touching um but they were close and he said that there were some um slight changes which suggests that they are touching obviously when i'm on his back i guess um so yeah um arthur's just fussing a bit because he has to stay outside <laughs> um we've been cleaning out the stables um and he can't go into his yet um so yeah so he did that um oh, he's got the lead rope over his head oh. um i did have his right knee x-rayed because he um, it was really swollen in January, so he'd done something in the field. Um, but because he was having his back x-rayed, I thought it was may as well have that done. So that was that was fine. So whatever it was, it was um, ligament damage. Um, and then I've always suspected that he had um, potential um, arthritis in his right left fetlock basically because he's always been stiff on the left um, and he just won't, tends not to want to bring um, the left leg under quite like he does on the other side. Now this has always been put down to strength, um, strength and training so obviously I've just tried to work him out of that but obviously if, if he's got a problem then um, so yeah so he does have some um, bony changes on the front of the fetlock um so but obviously um just one step at a time um we'll just see how um he is with his back there is a chance that um he might actually um go a bit lame i guess um if he's not got the pain in his back anymore um it might show up the, the problems in the back if there is a problem if there is anything to worry about in terms of pain um at the end of the day i, I don't want him to go around badminton I, I don't want want him to do really high level dressage or anything like that like, nobody's perfect um i've had a lot of operations and i'm in a bit of a mess inside but that doesn't mean um the surgeon told me that <laughs> Um, but that doesn't mean I'm not capable of doing things. Um, it just means that some things are a problem and some things aren't. It's, um, it, yeah, nobody's perfect. Um, it's just a case of figuring out where the pain's coming from. Um, me and the, the vet and I have discussed Arthur's background at quite great length. And luckily, I love to film everything. So I've been able to go through the history. Um, so we do think that his back is causing um is actually the primary um issue for things that i've experienced um but obviously we could be wrong but i think just time will tell um and i do think it's going to be a performance thing with arthur um so yeah um but yeah i guess i'll just keep you guys um updated and the farrier's coming now to put um, wedges on all four feet, so, uh, on all four hooves, so the vet and the farrier have been discussing his case um, and they've decided, um, so I'm just kind of leaving them two to it. Um, so yeah, we'll see how he responds to um, having his, um, the alignment, I don't really know all of the, um, the jargon for farriery and things like that but i guess they're realigning the hoof past an axis um and um i think the pedal bone should have like a three degree angle or something like that don't hold me to it um but that's my understanding of it so um it'll be interesting to see how he how he responds to that um in terms of his way of going but but yeah 
so I guess I'll keep you guys updated and I'll do an update on his hooves as well. Thanks, bye.